Oh yeah. Hey <laughs> then. Now these are cute. Like I got moons, I got Pac-Man, I got hearts. I I'm an artist, duh, like. What's up y'all welcome back to my channel my name is Shamika if you are new here and if you're joining us for the first time girl make sure you click that subscribe button wherever it's at click the bell so you can be notified every time I post and make sure you leave a comment down below so today is the start of another weekly vlog girl I just finished filming a chit chat get ready with me I will post it somewhere on the screen so you guys can go check it out in case you missed it now y'all know last week in the weekly vlog I filmed a video and I told y'all to check it out but the video was horrible. I think this one gonna be good so make sure y'all check it out. It will be linked because I think I think we're gonna be good to go on that one. Um, so this is not where the vlog starts set though. We gotta take it back to the 99s and the 2000s. Alright guys, so I wanna give a huge thanks to Linsmar for sponsoring this portion of today's vlog. They were kind enough to send me over five pair of glasses that I wanna share with you guys. And if you see anything that you like, make sure you use my coupon code SHAMIKA25 at checkout for 25% off your purchase. So let's just get right into the frames. So one, one thing that I want to note is that I really love how the glasses come packaged from Smart. I love the box that the glasses come in. I love the carrying case. Everything is just so clean and nice and sophisticated. And then I also love that every pair of glasses also comes with its own, I'm not sure what you call this, but the little white to keep your glasses clean. I can never have enough of these because you guys know I wear glasses on a regular. So love that about Smart. So I'm going to be putting the name of each pair of frames across the screen as I show them to you guys. So let's just get into the first pair. So this is what the first pair looks like. Really cute, really different for me. Um, I love how it has the bedazzled rim. I think it's really funky. Like it's very, very different. Not something that I would normally go for. So I'm excited to see how these are going to look on me. Okay. Like these are like, they're not bad. They're funky. Like that's what they give me. They give me like funky. I want to be different. I want to stand out. Like I want some attention on me type. I wouldn't wear these every day. I would probably wear these to like a costume type party. These would probably be the perfect accessory for like a costume or a masquerade type party or something like that. I think these are really cute, really different. They don't look bad on me. They're just funky they give me like a cool vibe so for the next pair of glasses they are super cute i always wanted just a simple pair of clear frames nothing too crazy about them they're like aviators but you know they're clear frames i'm an aviator stan so i had to get these and then i think these would be super cute to put a prescription in as well like like clear frames go with literally everything. These look absolutely amazing on me. Like they look perfect. I think clear frames look good on pretty much anybody. So love these has to give me a pair of clear frames because I feel like I have a lot of black glasses. But if I were ever to get another prescription, I would want them to be a pair of clear frames. So I really like these. I think they're just light and airy and fun and simple you know it's not too much it's not too little so for my third pair of glasses i got this really cute and simple pair of pink frames i am such a pink girl that it's surprising that i did not have have a pair of pink shades or glasses in my collection so i had to get a pair of pink glasses these are really really cute they're pink and gold the metal is gold on these so i think that's really cute it helps give them the extra pop and i love that the pink is super subtle so this is what these look like y'all know i love me a good cat eye girl like mm -hmm, for a woman <laughs> I love me a good cat. Now these are cute. Like these right here are my favorite so far. Like these are super, super cute, super girly. They're pink, they're fun, but it's not like a super bright pink. You know, it's very subtle, but it's still pretty and feminine at the same time. I really do like this pair. Like, okay. Y'all know cat eye make me feel like a woman. Anytime I put a cat eye on, I be feeling like that girl. So I love these pink 
springs i might get my prescription in these because these are like super cute and girly you know like i normally like my glasses to look really plain but i don't know something about these are just super super cute these would be cute if they were shades as well but even as like with a prescription in them i think i would still rock them so really like these okay so these are the fourth pair and they are funky as well girl not something i would normally gravitate toward so i'm super excited to see how they're going to look on me they have i believe this is gold metal as well and then you have the white swoop in the front super super different for me so let's see what they look like on okay like these are not bad these are not bad but i don't know it's like they look good on but the swoop is like throwing me again they are funky like i would probably wear this like to dress up or to be the perfect accessory to complete a halloween costume costume or something like that like i'm not bold enough to wear this outside on its own but it's cute i don't hate it like if this is your style and you can pull these off i am not mad at you girl because they are cute they're just a bit much for me but i do like them and now on to the final pair of glasses which are these super simple black frames with metal detailing they have the tortoise rim y'all know i love a good tortoise rim and then they're black i love black as well so i think these are super super cute i think these are going to look really really good on me they are cat eye as well so i think they're going to be my favorite I can wear this. We good to go. Like, I can walk outside with these on with the outfit that I got on right now. And we good to go. I love these. I'm just a sucker for black. And then the tortoise detailing, it just always gives it that extra pop. You know what I'm saying? So, I might even consider putting prescription in these as well. Because these are really, really cute. And they're big. I like big glasses. But they still have the cat eye, which makes them get that feminine look. And, yeah, I just really like them. I like these. So I think between, if I had to pick a favorite, it would be the black and the pink. It's just something about a cat eye. For me, the cat eye just really sets off any look. Make sure you guys use my code Shamika25 for 25% off of your purchase. Make sure you guys check out Linsmart. I will have the link to each pair of frames linked down in the description box. And again, I want to thank Linsmart for sponsoring this portion of today's vlog. And now let's get back into it, girl. But um, I'm about to get ready. I'm about to go to a sip and paint, a cute little sip and paint date. Um, never did sip and paint before. This is like sip and spray paint, so it's a bit different. I'm going to try to bring you guys with me. I don't know how much footage I'm going to be able to get, though, because it's spray paint. And it's kind of messy. And I'm wearing my Alexander McQueen gym shoes. And I really hope I don't get them messed up. So, yeah, I'm dressing real, real simple today. Like, what I wanted to wear. I don't know if I told y'all this earlier today or not. But what I wanted to wear today, I think I threw the bodysuit away. So, now I just got to wear, like, a regular bodysuit, which is infuriating because it's going to mess up my outfit and i'm probably not gonna be able to take pictures but whatever um can y'all believe miss how to gain weight ain't ate all day today like i have not eaten a thing today which is crazy to me all i had today was this iced coffee from dunkin donuts but i'm okay like for some reason i just haven't been having an appetite lately i don't know why i just don't have an appetite for nothing like i don't want to eat but not like i don't want to eat i don't have a taste for nothing to eat so yeah girl it's 6 39 i gotta leave out let me see how long it's gonna take me to get to the place when i looked earlier it said it was gonna take me an hour so 53 minutes it said now it says 41 minutes that's more like it no traffic oh this place looks cool looks super cool i'm gonna try to get some good vlog footage for y'all this looks really really cool actually Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. And hopefully I can get something. I don't know how big the canvases are, but I want to get something that I can pull on my bookshelf. So hopefully it's like a small canvas and I can make something really, really cute and aesthetically pleasing so I can put it on my bookshelf. I also need to go get my canvases for, um, I think we're going to do that this week. I think we're going to go get my canvases so that I can start working on my artwork for my living room. I decided that I want to create my own artwork because, like, I'm an artist, duh. Like, I created that one and then I created one a couple months ago for my friend. I don't know if y'all remember. So, I want to create my own for my living room, but I'm torn between doing one big canvas or two like medium sized canvases. 
Um, I'm going to see when my couch come on Tuesday, girl, because my couch is for show coming on Tuesday. They already reached out to me and let me know the delivery window and all of that. So, baby, we good to go. I'm so excited. Once I get my couch, then I'll be able to assess, like, what size canvases I need in the living room. And then we're going to be doing a little bit of DIY, girl, because <clears throat> living room ain't complete without some art. I might end up making the art for my bathroom as well now that I think about it. But the only thing with the art for my bathroom... I don't know. I don't know if I want to frame this art. I've never framed any of my art. Like, yeah, I don't frame it. I just leave it as is. But I think I might want to get it framed. And I know they frame it at Hobby Lobby. I think they frame it at Michael's too. So, I don't know. We'll see about that. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. But for now, I'm just about to go ahead and get dressed. I'm going to come back and show y'all the outfit of the night. It ain't going to be nothing major, girl. Some real chill. Some real chill. -ish. So... Talk to you in a minute. This is the outfit. Nothing major. Just, um, like I said, my Alexander McQueen's. I put up on this little white, little mesh top because all I have on is this little bodysuit from Zara. And then these indigo blue jeans that I got from Fashion Nova. I really need to get some more jeans from Fashion Nova because I have two pairs. And those are really, like, my favorite jeans in the world. <laughs> like, I literally wear them out. Um, I'm spraying Dossier Gourmand White Flowers. I think this is the one that's supposed to be like, why is it not focusing? Whatever. I think this is the one that's supposed to be similar to Baccarat or something. I think, I don't know. Then I'm going to wear this red jacket from Pretty Little Thing. Shoot. Which, I love this red jacket. Like, it's super cute. But I hate how it's not flexible. Like the jacket is so stiff. And I've been seeing so many people with jackets like these. And theirs looks so freaking flexible. But mine is as stiff as a board. So annoying. so freaking stiff it's crazy i don't understand like why is my jacket so stiff and everybody else looks so flexible my collar don't want to never come down it's just whatever should i try to zip it a little bit will that help with it not being flexible Then I'm going to carry my Louboutin bag. I don't know about the, the coat, child, but I know I'm wearing it. But just this is why I don't wear it that much because it's such a stiff coat. But this is the fit. This is what we're giving. Mm -hmm. Real cute and casual. Uh-uh. This color... Like, I just wanted to be like this. Like, just be like this. Just be like this. Just be like a regular coat. Just be like this. Okay. I think that worked a little bit. As a matter of fact, let me take it off and do it. Can't put no steam on this coat. Mess up the pleather. Stay down, but what are you trying to bend it into place? Okay, 
As good as it's gonna get y'all. Okay. But it's better. I feel more. It's still trying to lift up, child. I'm gonna have to take the needle and thread and sew this down. Golly. Please stay down. Please. Okay. All right. This don't have to do. This, this one is gonna have to be. Hopefully the jacket stay down. If not, listen, I didn't get all I could do for it. Ooh. All right, for real, I'm gonna stop because it's, it's not gonna change nothing. I just really want this to stay down. All right. I think it's good now for real. I think it's gonna stay down. Okay. The booty doing what it needs to do. I'm gonna have not ate all day today. Period. All right, y'all, so I'm about to head out. I got like an hour to spare, so I might end up stopping and getting me something to eat. But again, I'm not really hungry. I don't really have an appetite, but who knows? Hopefully this collar stay down, child. Pray for me. See y'all there. Switch it up, think outside, and think outside the box. And you got, you got yourself some new, uh, some new stuff going on. Okay. Um, straight edge. And I have a whole lot going on now. Got some rays of sunlight. I got bubbles. I got moons. I got Pac-Man. I got hearts. I got bars. I got a whole, whole lot of things. Yeah. So. I'm going to consider this done. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to consider this done. And if you have any questions, any tips, tricks, or bad ideas, let me know. From now to 10, it's all yours. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's a little nip nip. It's 46, but I guess since the sun ain't out, I ain't really feeling it. I'm about to head to the store. I gotta get some, um, what I gotta get? Some detergent. Y'all, I don't know. It's something wrong with me. Like, I think I might have diabetes. Cause diabetes really running my family. My brother got diabetes, my sister got diabetes, my grandma got diabetes, but I be so freaking thirsty at night. Like, I be so thirsty at night. It don't make no sense how thirsty I be. And, like, I'm talking about, like, dry, like, like, my thirst is very, very dry. Like, you would think I ain't drunk water in years. I don't understand why I've been so thirsty. And then, not only is my throat super, super dry, when I go pee these days, like, I don't think I have a UT. Oh, my camera is so dirty from that sipping paint. I need to wipe it off. I need to clean it, and I need to clean my shoes from the sipping paint, too. But even when I go pee, or like, it's like, I don't, I don't think I have a UTI. I don't know why I would have a UTI, but... 
this might be TMI. But when I go pee, like, it's not a whole lot of pee these days. It's only a little bit. And, you know, that's a symptom of a UTI. But normally, I've had a UTI before. Normally, it's painful, too, you know? Like, it hurt to pee. Or you start to see blood after a while and stuff. And then, um, when I looked up the, symptom, the symptoms for diabetes, that was one of the symptoms that came up. Which was like, you know frequent urination but not a lot of it you know just a little bit so i might need to go to the doctor it's time to go to the doctor anyway though because i don't think i've been to the doctor since i had my baby this time last year like you know when you go back for the six week checkup that was the last time i went to the doctor so i think it might be time for me to make a doctor's appointment and yeah go see about what's going on with my body yeah, I need to do that. I'm going to do that. I need to find a new doctor, though. That's the thing. Since I'm not back where I used to live, I need to find me a new doctor out here. Which, hopefully, the doctors are better out here. Because I really did not care for the doctor that I was going to when I was out there for my prenatal care. Not that I'm pregnant now, but still, I just need a better set of doctors. So hopefully I can get that. I'm going to actually work on that this upcoming week. I'm going to work on finding a new doctor out here. A primary care physician. And I'm going to try to go get me a checkup. It's probably going to end up being next year. When I'm able to actually go in and see the doctor. But that's cool. Probably the top of next year. But that's cool. I need to check up. Let me get it checked up, checked up. But yeah, I'm on my way to get some detergent. Um, I call, I was, I was, I'm not feeling it today, y'all. I was on the phone with my sister singer Bruno Mars Lazy Day because that's literally what I want to have today. Like, I just wanted today to be a lazy day, but I have to wash my clothes. I cannot stand to have like a huge pile of dirty clothes. That just, oof, I cannot do it. So, I only had a smidge of detergent, a little bit for the load that I already started. So, I'm like, let me just go get me some more detergent so I can really wash my clothes, wash my sheets, wash my rugs. I don't know. I feel like I clean so much more now that I live alone than I did when I was in a relationship. And I don't know why. Like, I thought that I would be cleaning less because I'm by myself but I feel like I clean more if not the same amount like why am I having to clean so much I don't like this like I thought it was going to slow up but I'm just really cleaning the same this is crazy and I see why people like I used to be like, why are people getting housekeepers? Why are people getting people to come clean their house? And my mom used to say all the time that, like, she never wanted a big house because the bigger the house, the more you had to clean. And, yeah, that's true. I know once I get a bigger house or a bigger place, I'm not going to do all that by myself. I'm going to have to hire some help because who? Who? Not me. I think I know where I'm going, but... I think I don't when my GPS in. So here is a up close look at the painting. I named her Jungle Fever. I think I'm gonna put her in my closet though. We're gonna go see right now. But it was a really cool experience. Like 10 out of 10 would highly recommend. I'm gonna try to put the name of the place across the screen. But I wanna show y'all my freaking shoes. Whew. I'm gonna try to clean them with a toothbrush. Can y'all see? A little bit. Let's stop focusing. Y'all see? I literally destroyed my shoes. So yeah, I'm about to try to clean them. So if you do go to that place, since it's spray paint, don't wear nothing that you care about or that you don't want to mess up. I need to give me another one of these lamp lights up in here, I think, because I don't like the lighting in here. It's so uneven. I think I need to get one to put on the other side, but we'll see. Because I get my couch and sweat out as well. But let's see what this paint looks like in the closet. Because it's the only place it's going to go. I wanted to do something that I could put up in the house, but it's just... I didn't want to like not be creative because it's so easy to do something simple. And y'all saw the man painting. His stuff was like dope. So I didn't want to like do something basic just to have a piece of art in my house. Oh yeah, this is a good little spot for it right here. 
I need to clean my camera out too. Put it right there. I think that's cute. My Louboutin bag go right there. That's why it look kind of crazy. But yeah, I think it fits perfectly right there. Jungle fever. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that's that. I'm about to uh, put this little stuff up that I got up and probably just clean up real fast. I'm not even at home with no more. I didn't lost my appetite just that fast. Oh, oh, I gotta clean these shoes. So I'm gonna try to clean these shoes. Yeah, I'll check back in with y'all in a minute. All right, y'all. So I just washed the shoe shrinks. I'm debating on if I want to put them in the washing machine. Because they were pretty stained. But they actually, like, don't look that bad. The Dawn dish detergent pretty much got it out. So I don't think I'm going to put them in the washing machine. Yeah, I'm not going to put them in the washing machine. They're good. And then the shoes... I really didn't even need to use the toothbrush because it just kind of wiped right off. I used the toothbrush for this one so you can still see like some of the pink a little bit and the stitching a tad bit. Some of this is just like regular scuffs. I had these for a while. But you can still see some of the um, pink in the stitching a little bit but not on this one at all because I just went in straight with the towel on this one instead of um, using the toothbrush. So yeah. If you do want to be cute when you go on that little date, girl, go right ahead because it's going to come right off. It's going to come right off. And I call myself dressing down just for that simple fact. And maybe I still end up. Could have dressed down even more. Okay. They good. Well, my shoestring is dry. I'll put them back in. I'll be looking up, um, if you ever, like, want to take your shoestrings out and you don't know or you're nervous about doing it because you don't know how to put them back in, look up videos on YouTube of people lacing their shoes. They'll teach you how to do it. And then I'm just watching my girl, Sunny. Oh, I got some refried beans as well. I'm going to eat these. Well, eat this with mom. Did I get some chips? Girl, I ain't get no chips. I ain't going to eat these. I only eat refried beans with chips. I can't eat them by themselves. Damn, my press on just came off. Lord, what is going on? We gonna get my glue and pop that back on. Cause these gotta last me, these is too cute. So yeah, I'm just about to, um, I'm just about to probably edit. I see Kyra just posted a video. I don't know if I wanna watch or do I feel like editing. I'm probably finna try to edit to see if my laptop gonna do better. It was doing good before I left out the house, but I gotta see if it's really, if it's really, really what it is. Good morning, y'all. Well, good afternoon. I am up and dressed. I'm gonna keep my bonnet on though because, listen, I'm in the comfort of my own house. But I'm about to get my couch delivered, so. I decided to get up and put on some clothes or whatnot so I can be presentable when the delivery people come here. Now, I was supposed, when I originally went to my house, I think I told y'all this, I have on um, basic doorstep delivery, but I got upgraded to white glove delivery, but I, I only saw that like on one of my things, like on one of my emails it said white glove and everywhere else it keeps saying basic doorstep. So I hope that these men is about to do white glove. I'm just making me some oatmeal right now just to have something on my belly to start the day. Yeah, I got a lot of packages. I think I got three or four packages that just got delivered today. Today is Tuesday, so I need to go get the packages, but I want, I want to wait until I get the couch in first before I bring the packages in just so I don't have a whole bunch of stuff in uh, the folks' way. I be watching, y'all know I watch Peyton. I think I've said this before. And when that girl make her oatmeal, well, she's not a girl. When that woman makes her oatmeal, she be putting peanut butter, strawberries, everything. I be like, I low key want to give it a try. But I'm here like, but I do want to give it a try. <laughs> I do want to give it a try though. Like, it be looking real good, but I'm such a picky eater. But I do love oat. I mean, I do love peanut butter. I love oatmeal. I like strawberries. So, they be You know what I'm saying? Might be good. Might be good, but I don't got no peanut butter. I gotta go buy some. I'm actually going to the grocery store. Hopefully in a couple of days, somebody finna um, take me to the grocery store with the Linky Link, and I need that. So hopefully, um, 
maybe I'll remember to get some peanut butter so I could try it. Y'all be seeing my fridge though. I am, oof, I need to do better. My fridge be on E, baby. I don't know why I keep my fridge on E like that. I just do. Oh yeah. <laughs> I love it, nigga. I love when a person can get the TikToks. Like, TikTok is a love language. I just seen a tweet the other day talking about this girl went up on a date with this guy and she never went on another date with him because she asked her, did she watch TikToks? And she was like, yeah. And he was like, it's a chicken salad. And she got mad. What you meant, girl? I would have been like, superior. <laughs> That's to me like, we here. If you can, if I can mess with somebody who get TikToks how I get TikToks, well, as a lady, because y'all know I really don't be on TikTok like that, but as a lady, I've been up on it for real, for real. And so this guy just sent me a TikTok. Like we talked about something, he sent me a TikTok that pertains to it. And maybe that was a good key key because that's definitely how it be. Like it was that TikTok where everybody, it called you wing time tonight. You'll be like, yo. You say I should let them bring it through this balcony door? All right, y'all, so we got the couch, but unfortunately, like, they did change my delivery. Initially, it was white glove, but they changed it, so I'm going to get some help to, like, unwrap this and put this up, so I think it's going to be put up tomorrow, I guess, maybe. I'm not going to get it put up today, unfortunately, because even the delivery men, they were struggling to bring it inside and like I just it's heavy like it's heavy just me trying to like it's heavy so I don't even want to be bothered with it it's not as white as I wanted it to be though it's kind of like I'll show y'all real quick it's not really white it's like you know Stone, kind of real similar to the carpet type, you know? But we'll see. We'll see tomorrow. I'm about to run to the mailbox and get these packages real fast. So, give me a second. But I only got two. Let's see if these two are. Okay, so this right here, these are some shoes that I'm gonna be showing y'all in the upcoming haul. So we're not gonna show them right now. And then this, they had eggs. Shipment. I think this is my stuff from Tamu. I got another sponsorship with them coming up. But I thought I was on. I don't know why I said I had something delivered from DHL from Mark Fisher. Whatever that is. I wonder should I go look outside the house and see. Yeah, let me go see if it was something outside the house. 
Yeah, no, I didn't get nothing. Um, this all I got. Why got so many emails say saying I had stuff? I don't know. Whatever. I think that's my tumble stuff. Yeah, it is. So this gonna be a part of that same haul that I have coming up. So yeah, bro. I like how they packaged it this time. It wasn't back and forth this last time, so super cute. Y'all stay tuned for that haul. Y'all, I'm up in here on TikTok again. But I got everything. I went through all my little shindy, you know, and I did have a third package, but it's um. DHL took it to the um what you call it the office they didn't bring it to my door so I gotta go up over there eventually and get it really not looking forward to that but I'm really I really want to tackle this couch I ain't gonna lie like I really want to tackle this couch but I know I'm gonna need some help so that's why I'm just trying to be patient but tomorrow seemed like a long time <laughs> I seen like a long time from now, so I really want to just, yeah. you know, get it, get it open or whatever. But I'm gonna wait though, cause I know like once I start, I'm gonna be like, dang, this is a lot of work. I should have just waited anyway. I'm super, super excited. I'm gonna be filming a collective haul. Cannot wait for y'all to see. Hopefully, I can get all my stuff in. I know I'm gonna have pretty much everything except for one order. I don't think I'm gonna have in time, and so that's gonna kind of push it back. But hopefully, yeah. I got the stuff from Tamu that I um, showed y'all. The box I just opened. And baby, when I tell y'all, the first set of pieces that I got from Tamu, them was cool. This next set of clothes that I got from Tamu, y'all gonna see something y'all like. Like, if y'all didn't see nothing y'all like last time, y'all gonna see something y'all like this time for real, for real. So I'm so excited to put this on and try, try everything out for y'all so y'all can see. Then I need to go to the nail shop too and get my toes done because I bought them shoes, you know, and I'm going to show y'all my toes. And my toes ain't been done since my birthday. I'm out here real bad, so I need to do that. But I'm just about to eat. I've been losing weight, y'all, because I haven't been really eating like that. I haven't had no appetite. So, we'll see. But dang, I'm trying to think. I got a lot of stuff to do this week. I was supposed to, somebody invited me to go to New York. I don't know if I told y'all. Somebody invited me to go to New York this weekend, but I couldn't go because um, I got too much stuff to do. And I'm happy that I declined because I really was low key debating on going, but I have a lot of stuff to do. Like a lot of stuff. And then I agreed to go to this all black dinner up on Thursday, which is going to kind of like throw a wrench and everything because I don't really be trying to go out during the weekdays but I'm going to go support my friend or whatever so it's just one of the days one of them weeks girl but I said holla I'm about to eat real quick and I was going to go get that other package out the place out the room but I'm going to probably just wait to go get it tomorrow to go get the package or whatever so because it's cold out but it ain't cold out there for real for real. it was decent but I had already took my clothes off so I don't want to Put them back on and all that stuff. So I'll go out tomorrow or whatever. Let me tell you about this girl. Maybe I should. I met her in Philly and her name was Brown. See, we've been making love constantly. That's why my eyes are a shade. Blood burning. The way that we kiss is unlike any other way that I be kissing when I'm kissing. What I'm missing, won't you listen? Brown sugar, babe. I guess high up in love, I don't know how to be. I So we got it put up. It looks really good to me. Excuse all the boxes. 
it looks really really good i can't wait to put my artwork right there i think it's like literally the perfect size couch for the size of the living room i think i wanna wanna i don't know i might move it down just a tad bit more i don't know we'll see but i really do like it i am going to go get some pillow covers because i don't like these and it's not as white as i would have liked it's kind of i think the color is sand so i don't know it's not as white as i would have liked but it still looks really good especially with the walls you know i think stark white would have been too much so i'm not mad at it i'm just happy to have a couch <laughs> And then this right here, I don't know what this is. I don't know if the, when that man came in my house to deliver it, did he like stain my carpet? But I gotta try to get whatever that is up cause the carpet is like perfect. I vacuumed yesterday too. My lines is gone, but the carpet is perfect. But that little spot is bothering me. So I'm about to try to get that up. And yeah, I'm gonna have a seat on my couch, girl. <laughs> I really do like it though. I do wish it was more white, but mm, I think it looked really good. I think once I add my artwork and everything, it's gonna turn out beautifully. So yeah. Hey y'all, hey. Yes, I got on what I had on yesterday. We're gonna check me, boo. Um, I'm about to get ready and go get my package and I gotta run to the grocery store. I need to hurry up. It is literally, can y'all see how dark it is outside? It's freaking pitch black dark. I need to um go to the grocery store. I'm gonna go get my package from the mail room that I was telling y'all about yesterday, and I'm gonna go to the grocery store. I have threw my little wig on. I had a therapy session, y'all. Ooh, love my therapist, baby. I needed that session. That was a good session, a real good therapy session. I called myself updating my phone while I was in therapy, but I knew I wasn't gonna be able to do it, and I didn't. So I gotta try to update it later. But yeah, that was a really good therapy session. Y'all know I am a strong advocate for therapy. It really does help. It really does work. Like, and no matter who I talk to about something when I'm going through something, nobody ever has the solutions that my therapist has. Nobody ever has the insight that she has. Like, the lady really undefeated. She really the goat. I just make my painting crooked. She really the goat. She really the goat, for real, for real. So, who I've been sitting up on the couch, y'all. It look kind of empty from this angle, but I've been sitting up on the couch. Mm-hmm. I called myself something I was gonna sleep on the couch last night. I'm just put up on the. Yeah, I'm gonna just put up on my little trench coat. I called myself like, oh, I'm gonna sleep on the couch tonight. Baby, I did not sleep on that couch. I could not sleep on that couch. It's cool. It's decent enough for a little nappy nap. Baby, that couch ain't comfortable. It ain't sleeping on material. Do a little nappy nap, but I can't go to bed on the couch. Oh, I need to get my. Um, I'm so happy I just remembered. I need to get my key fob. Because I had took my key fob up off of my um, key ring because my key fob is so big. It's my key fob. I can keep carrying this fat old thing around, but I need it right now to get my package out the package room. Baby, y'all, it's freezing outside. Like, it's really freezing outside. It's like freezing. Like, if only I knew how cold my hands were. I should have checked the weather before I went out there. It said it was only 26 degrees and they not lying it is freezing outside i feel like i'm about to have to unfold it's really cold 
I don't know what I'm about to wear tomorrow. I'm popping out tomorrow. And let me check the weather for tomorrow. Because if it's going to be like this, this why I don't go out in the winter time. It said it was only 35 degrees today. Baby, it's 26 right now. Tomorrow it's going to be 35. Listen, I will cancel some plans so quick. But I think Olivia getting her head in right now, so I don't want to do it like that. But girl, I will cancel. It is cold. It's really cold. Girl. I got some packages or whatever, though. I got to unthaw. Listen, I can't even think straight, y'all. I am so cold. I'm gonna keep these bags from Samu, but I don't even know what I'm gonna do with them. They're so big. But these type of bags are like really good for traveling. Let me actually take these clothes in the room because I'm about to cook. You know, when you cook, you leave your stuff in the kitchen and smell like food. Baby, it's cold though. On some for real stuff. Once it really just snuck up on us. I went to the grocery store. I spent more than I wanted to. But I ain't do too bad though. I used my coupons too. My coupons saved me about $20. I ain't used all of them though. I just used the ones that had, you know, what I wanted. Let's do a quick little rundown. I got some Rotel. I'm gonna some chips because I'm gonna make Rotel one of these days. I got some cookies. I looked for my regular cookies, the ones um, that I be baking, but they didn't have any. They were completely sold out. They were completely sold out a lot of stuff. I got some eggs. I got some yellow rice and some jambalaya because I'm going to make some jambalaya one of these days. I got some Rice Krispie Treats. I only got them so I can have like a little snack up in the house. And I had a coupon for them, so I just decided to use it. Packages, them to the side. I got a little Stouffer's lasagna just to try it out. I'm a huge lasagna girl, like I love lasagna, but making it can be a lot sometimes. So I figured I'd try that out. Got a little thing of Pepsi to help with my little pop craving when I'm feeling it. I got a pot roast to make. I don't know one day I'm gonna make it, but one of these days I'm gonna. This roast, and then I had a coupon for a dollar off my roast. That was cool. I got my little free juice. Remember, I told y'all I had a coupon for free juice. One of these, they only had white cream and peach. I like white cream and strawberry, but I just got it because it's free. And I think my coupons expired like in a day or two, so I really wanted to use them before they expired. I got a little mini made strawberry mini made. Just a lot of this stuff I got. Just so I can have she probably it hurt in my mouth. It was. Let me take this weed off. I don't know where that hair came from. But a lot of this stuff I just got just so I can have like food in my house, stuff in my house. Because I be that my cigarette won't eat. They only had carrot chips for when I make my roast. I really like the uh, baby carrots. I think that's what they call. I really like those, but they didn't have any, so I just had to get that. Got some more fish fry. I got some sausage for my jambalaya. I should have got some shrimp. I might go back and get some shrimp. I got some breasted potatoes for when I make my roast. I got some sweet potatoes for tonight. I really wanted to make pepper steak and rice tonight, but they didn't have no pepper steak meat. So I just decided to do chicken breast, sweet potatoes, and maybe cornbread. I don't know. But that was the chicken breast. I got some ground turkey for my hotel. Mm. I got a pizza just to have like quick stuff that I can cook. I used to have to cook it all the time. What you know about Tiny's? You probably don't know about Tiny's because you live in Chicago in the area. Got some popcorn. Popcorn is like one of my favorite little snacks. Cornbread. Y'all know I'm a cornbread girl. I got some liquor because I never have liquor in my house. So when people come over, I have liquor now. 
I got Taylor Port just to try it out. Um, I was just only going to get Taylor Port, but I'm like, I don't know if somebody would like that. So let me get another one just in case they don't like Taylor Port. At least I got options. And so I decided to try this one. I pick my wines based on the percentage of alcohol, pretty much. Obviously, like rosés and chardonnays and pinot noirs and pinot grigios and all that type of stuff. I like or red moscatos. I go based off of that, the flavor, I guess, or the type of wine. But then next, I look at the percentage. And this one is a rosé wine, and it has 13%. So I thought I'll try this out. I think the table for it is... I believe it's a red wine, if I'm not mistaken. You got 18% alcohol. Wow, I didn't even look at that when I was in the store. Yeah, this is a red wine. So I got a red in the same. In case, you know, people like different stuff. Um, and then I got some poppies. Two little poppies. Maybe two for four. So I just get two. The cheese from my hotel. I use this cheese. I know a lot of people make it the other way. And honestly, I like it better the other way. But I never learned how to make it like that. So I just keep using that. Got some peanut butter. Damn. I got some peanut butter to put in my uh, oatmeal. I see Peyton doing that. I wanted to give it a try. I got some chicken seasoning. Love this chicken seasoning. I just ran out. And I'm about to make my chicken breast. So I wanted some. And then the last thing is another poppy. So yeah. Yeah, bro. That's all I got for the stove. I'm about to put all this stuff up. And get to cooking. It's 630 so, yeah, I'm going to watch uh, a vlog. I see that Peyton, I see Peyton just posted, so I'm about to watch her vlog while I cook. All right, y'all, so I'm about to end the vlog, but it wouldn't be right if we didn't end the vlog with an OOTD. Make sure y'all follow me on TikTok because that's where I'm gonna start doing like all my outfit of the days. I'm still gonna incorporate them into the vlogs, but if you wanna see like, for real, for real, then follow me on TikTok. So let's go, let's get into the outfit, girl. I was just sitting here filming a little piece of content that I'm sure you guys saw earlier in the video, so that's why I was sitting there. But let's see, hopefully we can see the whole thing. Oh, which we cannot. This is the thing about filming on my DS DSLR. DSLR. This is the thing. But let me try to move it over here for y'all because I really want y'all to see. My table is a mess, so don't judge me. Girl, the house is a mess, honestly, so don't judge. But okay, OOTD, hopefully y'all can see, which is looking like y'all can't see my head, which I don't like, but whatever. OOTD, we have the jeans from Pretty Little Things, um, the top from Tamu, which you guys will also be seeing later on in the haul. Guest watch, Van Cleef inspired bracelet. Um, Boots from DSW and bag from Aldo. Of course, the face is Le Beat. And that's pretty much it. Um, scent is Dossier Gourmand, Gourmand White Flowers. And yeah, that's all. So I'm about to end the vlog here. I love y'all. I will see y'all in my next video.